Hi guys, welcome back to another vlogmas. Let me just put this down. I always struggle with this camera here. Okay, so welcome back to another vlogmas. I woke up this morning a little bit late. I honestly have just been sleeping like 10 hour days, which is like, it's fine. I feel like very energized and recharged, but I ended up sleeping too late because I ended up um, editing for so many hours and because I sleep to 10 hours I ended up waking up early or sorry I ended up waking up late I go to sleep late especially now with vlogmas I have to spend at least three hours editing at night so I end up going to sleep at like 2 in the morning and then if I am like sleeping for 10 hours then I'm not up until like 10 or 11 a.m. But for today the plan is to go with a friend to the mall and Crate and Barrel to do some shopping. So I'll take you guys with me. I just parked at her house and I'm waiting on her to come out. We might go grab brunch if we're able to. I have to look at places that we can go to. But I really need coffee. I made some coffee at home in this um, Starbucks cup that I got like years ago. And I feel like it's just not enough. I need more coffee. So we'll see if she wants to go grab brunch. Yeah, there's nothing else planned for today. I did want to go to a Christmas place in Baltimore. But I think I'm going to go do that during the week. Because I'm just too tired and I've just been go-go. And I need to relax and rest and catch up on a lot of editing. So we want to go to Crate and Barrel. I need to pick up some stuff. And we saw those cups at Crate and Barrel's website. And they are so cute. They have like Santas and um, snowman. And they have like trees. Like there's like different um, designs on the glasses. And we like them so much. So I think she wants to buy one. And I think I'm also going to buy one. Hopefully they have them in stock. I also did place an order for pickup and they sent me an email saying that it is ready so I'm gonna pick that up as well and I need to go to the mall she needs to do some returns at Bloomingdale's I need to do some returns at H&M and Abercrombie I bought these jeans from Abercrombie like two vlogmas ago and they are not the right size or the length so I need to go and exchange them. Hopefully they can like order them for me or if they have them in stock that, that will be even better. But I need to do that and then I need to do a little bit of exchange at H&M. But I think that is it. I might go into Zara quickly but I don't really need anything and I don't want to spend money so. I'm gonna take a look what places are available for brunch because today is Saturday and just brunch places on Saturday are insane. Yeah, you can put them here. These massive pillows, they sent me the wrong ones. They sent you the wrong yeah. ones? That is so annoying. Yeah. Hi! Hi! How are you? Yeah. so cute. I tried. So. I was not in a mood to put on makeup. Oh, I was so not I either, so bit. I didn't. <laughs> do y'all say hi? Oh, hi. <laughs> um, do you still want to grab uh, brunch? Or no? I'm, I'm glad to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I, how hungry are you? Yeah, I'm not super hungry, but. Yeah, me neither. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, wanna skip that? Yeah. Do you wanna go to Crate and Barrel then? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Okay. I think in the mall I may just like stop by Starbucks and like get coffee. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I had a morning too, so. Wait, what happened? Nothing happened, I just was like, <laughs> I don't know, it was just like a morning, you know? <laughs> when I messaged you, I was like, hey, I'm running late. Um, can I just come pick you up at 12? <laughs> That's so I funny. messaged you and then I went back to sleep. No, it's okay. I got it. <laughs> I was so tired. I went to sleep at like 3 in the morning. I went to sleep super late too. Were you out or something? Oh, I was um, editing my video because I'm like <laughs> uploading every day. Yeah, I'm uploading like every single day a video. So I film, then I edit, then up to, um, upload it. So nice. it takes a while. Okay, where is that crane barrel? They moved the place. They um, used to have it right in front of the mall. Mm -hmm. They moved it to the Galleria. Yeah, I don't put any makeup on today. I was like, I don't have the patience for it today, so. I'm going natural. I can't decide if I like this. Can you tell me if you like how it smells? I'm like, um, I don't know. What smells that? Dolce Gabbana? I 
don't know if I like oh, it. Oh, I love it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. It's good. Here we go. Finally found it. <laughs> Oh yeah, this brand. I, like this brand. Yeah. I remember when they came out with the icy blue color. Oh, Everyone was going nuts. Sure. We were looking for the glasses that have like Santa and snowman and the uh, Christmas tree on them. Yes. Do you guys have there them? There are a few left display. I need to check if we have it online. Okay. Because they were uh, seasonal items, and they were very popular. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have we have the monograms, and this one is the only one I guess left online. Let me see. Oh, they're not even online anymore? Well, they're seasonal. So let's see what it said. Carefully, you might see a couple. Okay. <gasps> she found one. I, I knew because I saw this. Uh, oh, cute. Yeah, it, they just. That's it. I may just get one of these. It's yeah. crazy that there's like. You yeah, know. Well, there are few things that are holidays. It's like the, the Christmas decor, that's about it. Oh, wow. So if you really like something there, you better grab it. Grab it, yeah. Same as everything that is seasonal is gone. Like, there's no reorder. We received the last batches of it, and that's it the reindeers, all the stuff. These are so cute. Yeah. And then you have the monograms. Well, whatever. You know, that's a nice little touch. Yeah. You can use that for anything. Yeah. So, the towels, everything. Whatever you lay this one, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I please have um, an ice latte with oat milk? I just got home. It was honestly kind of unsuccessful shopping trip just because I wanted to exchange the H&M hoodie that I showed you a couple vlogmas ago and I couldn't find the size so I just kept it. The mall was so insanely busy like I had to wait at Abercrombie and Fitch for like 25 minutes just to be able to do an exchange for the size and it didn't have like one of the jeans in stock so I had to exchange only one pair so I finally got this one I got it in a size 27 short but the other one I couldn't exchange because they didn't have it in stock so I am stuck with the extra short length for now I'm gonna just keep watching the website to see until they have it in stock so I can do the exchange because extra short is just way too short on me I also got a few things from Crate and Barrel that I wanted to show you So I placed an order and I also bought some few stuff in a store. That is so loud. The first thing that I bought from the store were these bells. I just thought they were so cute to hang on the door. And the next thing is a cup. We went to Crate and Barrel for these specific glasses. I was hoping we could get like the snowman but they were out of stock from it. They only had the Christmas tree one in stock and I think they only had three of these. So I ended up just getting one. I don't know why this reindeer looks like this. I don't know if this is like defective. Um, I feel like it is. It might be broken. Oh no, that means I have to like replace it. But I ended up picking this reindeer up. I bought another one in a different size. I just really like these. I also picked up these matches. I feel like these are just really, really aesthetically pleasing. I'm probably not going to even use them. But they were like on clearance and I thought they were so cute to kind of decorate with. So I ended up picking these up. This is everything that I got from Crayon Barrel. Very cute. I love Crayon Barrel so much. I am so hungry. Like my stomach is literally so mad at me right now. I need to go make some food quickly. Also, my brother messaged me when I was out and he wants to go see the Avatar movie. It came out yesterday. So we have tickets for 5 o'clock. Right now it's 4 o'clock. So I'm going to make some food really quick. And after that, we are going to go see the Avatar movie. I changed to my pajamas because I have just honestly been laying around and on my phone for a couple of hours now. And 
we had Chipotle for dinner and I didn't film that, I completely forgot but I wanted to update you guys on the Avatar movie. I thought it was really good. I probably thought it might have been a little bit better but it was still good. I mean it was a very long movie and for three hours I didn't get bored so I guess that's good. But my brother was a little bit disappointed in it. I guess he had like higher expectation of the movie. But I thought it was a pretty good movie. But I don't want to really say anything more about it. Just because I don't want to spoil it for you. Just in case if any of you guys are planning on going to watch it. I thought it was pretty good. I think it's worth watching. But yeah, I haven't really been doing much. I have a lot of editing to catch up on. And I've just been too busy on go 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 so tomorrow i have the whole day literally to get as much of editing as possible i also want to film another video for you guys tomorrow too so i will be doing that tomorrow but right now i do want to get my skincare routine i want to start on that i am about to start on my skincare I need to take this makeup off. I feel so crusty. <laughs> I hate having makeup for a really long time. It just doesn't really feel that good. So I want to take my makeup off. I love my braid. I need to wear my hair in braids more often. I think they look so cute. But I was in a movie theater and I had that low bun that I showed you guys that I did, like I had my hair in a low bun situation this morning, but then I was on, like I was sitting on the theater chairs and watching a movie for three hours was kind of uncomfortable because the bun was kind of in the way, so I couldn't really completely rest my head on it. So I literally took my hair out of the bun in the middle of the movie <laughs> and I braided it. And yeah, it looked really actually nice. I didn't really know how it looked like until after the movie was finished. And I went to the bathroom and I looked, I'm like, oh, that's, that's really cute. But um, if you're gonna go see the Avatar movie, I would highly recommend to wear very comfortable clothes. Also, I would probably say definitely go to the bathroom like right right before the movie starts because it's three hours like literally non-stop like there's no breaks and I did not want to like stop in the middle and go on a bathroom break just because I didn't really want to miss any of the action that was happening so I literally just had to hold it in for I want to say like an hour <laughs> it was not fun especially that we ended up getting some drinks so that made it worse so the second the movie ended I literally ran to the bathroom so I would say definitely wear something comfortable and definitely make sure that you go to the bathroom and don't drink a lot of liquids while you're watching I feel like I'm making it sound like too bad it's just three hours but Three hours, kind of a lot for a movie. I feel like today's vlog might be a little bit short just because I feel like I didn't really film a lot. I feel like I just filmed clips updating you guys on what I was doing, but I was really like running back and forth. Like in the mall, it was so busy in there. Like I couldn't actually film anything and my camera actually died. Like right after Crate and Barrel, so I couldn't really film much. And the mall was busy, like, we only went to Abercrombie and Bloomingdale's, and in Abercrombie we had to wait, like, I want to say 20 minutes, 25 minutes, so there was really nothing to film, and then after that wait, we were like, okay, we don't want to, like, wait at another store, because all the stores in the mall were, like, super busy, so we just left, and by the time we came back home, I was already going to the movie and the movie was three hours so really that was my whole day. I really hope today's vlog was not boring. But uh, now my face is clean, I'm just gonna add some toner. 
I've showed this before. This is the Epion's Balancing Toner. I don't really don't know what this does, actually. I feel like it's just kind of gives a smooth canvas for the skincare products that I'm going to use next, but I feel like it's not essential at all. I am really liking this braid. It's a little bit messy and my hair is like falling out of it, but I kind of like the messiness of it. It just looks effortless. And I like that. Is that my dog? Nope. False alarm. Next, I'm gonna use a couple drops of the La Roche Posay Retinol B3 Serum. And I'm just gonna press that into my skin. I try to be good when I'm applying serums, like try to like do this motion versus just swiping it all over my skin. But to be honest, sometimes I'm like lazy and this is too much work. Blasting the serum like this is too much work for me. I haven't done this step in quite some time, so I think I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna apply a couple drops of this Blossom Infused with Real Flowers Natural Face Oil. I got this from Walmart. I'm gonna take a couple drops of this on my hands. Rub them together. And just add it to the skin. Just to make the skin a little bit more smoother and easy to glide on. Just so I can have like a nice glidey surface for my gua sha. So I got this one from Amazon. I have it linked on my Amazon storefront. But basically I take this side and I do like five swipe ups my forehead and I do it at a 45 degree angle and all across my forehead and then with the same exact side I go under my eye again at a 45 degree angle and I sway from under my eye all the way to the hairline and it doesn't need to be like a hard press you could just be a little bit applying a little bit of pressure but not a lot and again on the other eye I usually do around like five to eight swipes and then with this side I do my brows and then again with this side I go under my eye and I lift up I feel like this kind of sculpts my cheeks and then my favorite part, using this part of the gua sha, I am going to go under my jawline and then swipe upward. And as I do that, I'm going to try like shape my jawline, if that makes sense. So go sideways and then go up. I'm going to do that for a couple times and then... Once I get here, I'm gonna start pushing down. So, sideways, up, down. Same thing on the other side. And then back through this side, I'm gonna go ahead and try to kind of almost get rid of my double chin. So, just push down from my jawline all the way to my neck and only push down and that's it I'm gonna end my skincare with a little bit of under eye cream actually I'm gonna do one more step um, I'm gonna add this inky list succinic acid acne treatment because I have like couple breakouts and I think these are hormonal just because my friend is about to be invited for the month and I think I'm getting horrible breakouts because of it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that on my skin. Really never know if this product actually works or not because I put it sometimes on certain breakouts and it will clear up in like 30 minutes and then I'll put it on some breakouts and it will do absolutely nothing. But 
it's worth adding it just in case it works. And I think that's all that I'm gonna do. And oil give hydration to my skin, so I don't really need to add any moisturizers. Oh, and I need to brush my teeth. Completely forgot that part. horrific mess right now but I just finished my skincare I also put on my eyelash serum and yeah I am ready for bed so I'm gonna close out the vlog here I hope you guys liked it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications you're notified every time I upload a video and I'll see you guys on my next video bye guys